Oh, shit. Hello everyone, we all know social fed wor fed works. <laughs> Hello everyone, we all know social networks like Facebook, Twitter or Tumblr, so do I. And over the time I used them, I've noticed so many things that I love and that I hate. So I want to share with you some things that I love and that I hate. I want to begin with the list I hate because this is definitely longer than what I love. And today I just want to discuss Facebook and Twitter. So here we go. On Facebook there are so many um, sites that you can like and they are about just pictures where you can read Oh, did you ever eat Nutella? If yes, click like. And I see it all the time on my timeline. I didn't like, I don't like these pages, but my friends do, so I get this. And what I can't understand is that my friends actually click like on these pictures where they say, Oh, did you ever jump? Did you ever jump? If yes, click like. So this is such a useless thing of Facebook. The second thing I really hate on Facebook is when people post these little poems under their pictures. And what I read yesterday or last week was this. I mean, this is so useless. This is so... No, but this... Who thinks about these poems? Like, um, it's the same when I say, Oh, I don't walk because my feet are moving. My feet are moving because I walk. The third thing I really hate on Facebook is the chat software. Because if you click so on something, if somebody writes you a message and you click on it, the people who wrote you the message can actually see when you clicked on it and when you saw their text. So you can't really ignore people if you don't want to chat with them. They always see, oh, you're ignoring them. This is something I really hate because sometimes I don't really want to write with people. And also if I don't have time and I just click it and go away, they think I was ignoring them. And if I say, no, I didn't have time, it sounds like a lie. So. This is definitely not good, Facebook. You should change that. Twitter. Twitter is a really nice software. I really like it, but there are things that I hate. For example, there are so many people um, that just post these things, these things nobody wants to know. It's like they think you get likes or get followers with this just if you post, oh, I like Nutella. Oh, I really have, I really have much of Nutella in this episode. Like they're saying I really like Nutella or I I listen to music and sometimes they are getting so many retweets and favorites and I can't understand this because who wants to know if you like Nutella or if you like listening to music? Everybody does. So why? The the second thing I don't really like on Twitter is when there are advertisements. So you just get this on your timeline. Um, somebody wants to show, oh, I have <laughs> the new Nutella, it's so tasty, buy it. And they have it on the timeline of you and you don't really follow these people. I would like it more if Twitter just puts these advertisements on the side of the side on the side of the side like Facebook does so you can click on them Facebook does this too that they post advertisements on the timeline but it's but you don't see this so often as often as on Twitter so Twitter you should change that it's kind of annoying now to the things that I love about Facebook or Twitter and we're gonna start with Facebook and what I love about Facebook is that YouTubers can have their own sites that you can follow or like and you can write if the person who has this site, for example a YouTuber, activates the possibility to write you a message, you can actually write the YouTubers messages and talk to them, give, they can give you some tips or 
stuff like this but on Twitter you can't because on Twitter you can only write a message to somebody else if you're following yourselves so you have to follow the YouTube and the YouTuber has to follow you and this is a thing that usually doesn't happen like if you follow me I will follow you back because I'm so nice the next thing I really like about Facebook is that you can connect with old friends or friends that are living in another country or far away so you can chat with them you can send you pictures and they can interact with you so this is a nice thing that you don't have on Twitter too because you can only write messages that are 140 letters long so Facebook is much better than this because Twitter is, this is not what Twitter is supposed to be but Facebook is a really nice tool to meet all friends and what the third thing I really like about Facebook if if your class has a group in Facebook and you can write with them you can tell them when the next dates for tests are or you can send the homework in the group the other one can send the homework in the group and everybody helps themselves this is a nice thing now we come to Twitter and I always said 140 letters are bad but in kind of way they are good because if you scroll down on this page you can only read these short texts and you read them and you go on read another one it's not like one is so long so you get the message the person wants to tell in only 140 letters this is a nice thing and yeah you don't spam people too much another thing what I like about Twitter is when you're a youtuber and you have Twitter you can tell your friends that a new video is coming up and when it's coming up and yeah it's like advertisement for you you can say yeah watch my videos so you get more clicks or you can just tell them because if you didn't they maybe don't go to YouTube and they don't see your video so they watch it when they read it on Twitter so nice thing too so this is all I wanted to say I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching I hope we see us next week click here to watch my last video which is about the typical Germans or click here to watch my previous video which is about baking a rainbow cake click here to subscribe click down there to subscribe for more videos if you like them click here I think to like my video rate it and if you really liked it favorite it or leave me a comment what you thought or what you think about this episode so we'll see us next week see you then